In this video, we will further explore the programming of table component. So I'll again drag and drop a table and similarly a button. In this particular video, I'll try to create one of my own table and then I'll show you how to display uh, that data on this uh, table. So again, we'll create a callback function. We can also create from here. Okay, so I'm going to create a table that contains name of uh, few guys. And after that, I would like to have the uh, class numbers of those students and then I will finally like to have the marks they obtained in a certain quiz or assignment. So I want to make a table uh, with these three columns. Okay, so uh, when it comes to the name I'll uh, create a cell array and uh, I'll have let's say mm, three names Omar, Usman, Ali but they, they, they should be array uh, strings okay so here they are strings single or double quote make them string okay so these are names similarly i would like to have the class number so one two and three these are the three uh, class number but since i want them to be uh, as a column i would like to put semicolon between them Otherwise, it will be a row. If, if, if still I want another way is to transpose. Okay, now uh, comes to the marks. So I'll type in 80, 90, and uh, 87. And again, it should be transpose. So these are the three columns and uh, now uh, the thing is to uh, to assign them to the data property of the table <coughs> I'll use a function that is also called table in MATLAB so let table I'm using this function table <clears throat> and the first entry is going to be this name <clears throat> and then it's going to be the class number and then finally it's going to be the marks okay so it will create a table now since we want to display that the table created here that the t that we have created here will assign this to app dot ui table dot data equals t okay so what we are doing here is that we are creating a table of this uh, data from this data we are creating a table t and then we are assigning that uh, t to this uh, ui uh, table component so let me just run it okay it will ask for some valid name okay now i can just uh, Okay, but it says that all the table in variables must have the same number of rows. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting this error because I haven't inserted semicolon here because it's it, it becomes a row. 
okay now now i'm going to run it again and here we go so we got those three columns and uh, we have three rows in the first is uh, in the first we have name then we have the uh, what we call class number and then the marks okay now we can uh, 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 replace these uh, column names with a valid column uh, with a proper name for example we can replace this with the name uh, this one with the uh, class number and this one with the marks we can do we can do this okay to do that I'll add another line that says app dot UI table dot and this time I'm going to program the column name and out of uh, T I'm not going to use the uh, value this time the other data I'm going to the properties and going to change the uh, use the variable names okay now let me run it again and uh, let me push this button okay so now you can see that we have name class number and marks uh, instead of that column one column two and column three so the uh, column name can be programmed and uh, the uh, uh, t dot property dot variable names it, it got the names like class number marks and uh, name class number and marks and this way we can uh, rename uh, the column names